This is your news source evening bulletin for today, Thursday, the third day of December in the year 2020. I'm Gordon Mosley. Here is what we're tracking tonight. The Association of Haitians in Guyana through their attorney Darren Wade has moved to the High Court seeking the dismissal of the deportation orders that were granted this week against 26 Haitian nationals who have been detained by the Guyana government. Chief Justice Roxon George will hear the matter this evening virtually. Attorney Darren Wade reminded that the Haitian nationals have still not been taken before the court or charged with any crime and therefore he believes the deportation orders granted against them are unlawful. The Haitians who are currently in custody who are not taken before the court and as a consequence I believe that those orders are unlawful because everyone has a right um, to be ordered. It's a matter of natural justice that everyone be given that opportunity and as a consequence I would have moved um, to the the court again to squash those deportation orders uh, made by Madam Shorda Lysaks. Um, those mat th that matter will come up this evening at 7 o'clock before um, Justice George, the, the Chief Justice, acting. The group of Haitian nationals arrived in Guyana from Barbados three weeks ago and were all granted legal entry by the Immigration Department. However, one day after their arrival, they were all rounded up by the police and taken to the Hugo Chavez Center in Berbice. The government of Guyana at first claimed that the Haitians were placed in protective custody as they were suspected of being human trafficking victims. But when the Haitians complained to the media and made it clear that they were not victims of any form of human trafficking, the government decided to seek their deportation. The attorney who is representing the interests of the Haitians said the law is very clear on the issue of natural justice being provided to everyone. We have the view that several um, of the, the, the rights of the um, Asian national were violated the, uh, under the various articles of our fundamental rights provisions that are contained in our constitution. Attorney Wade also reminded that Guyana and Haiti are both full members of CARICOM and citizens of member states are allowed free movement to other member states. A number of civil society organizations have called for the Haitians to be released since they had not broken any law and were not being held for any crime. Haitians have been traveling to Guyana to make their way to Brazil and French Guyana. More news coming up in a moment. Guyana, we've been through it all. But as a people, we have weathered every storm and risen to every challenge. Because it is the people of Guyana that gives it its strength. All the people, regardless of race, class, or religion, we, we are one people, one strength. And now is our time a time to rise. Together, we rise. Mobile Special and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Saul Guyana Inc. Mobile Special and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Saul Guyana Inc. Ravinas and Water Street and Anans and Regent Street just received a new shipment of Lederet in over 16 colors. Lederet can be used in a wide variety of applications including covering speedboat seats, cargo, and keeping commuters dry. Ideal for minibus and car seats, Lederet can be custom made to your seating requirements. Lederet is easy to clean and sanitize and a better choice during the COVID pandemic. For fast and comfortable shopping, visit us to get the best prices in town. Ravinas and Water Street and Anans and Regent Street. Do with GPL on your list. Child, you forgot I have to pay GPL? You got time with GPL. I have to keep these lights on. The customers who think in that manner and refuse to honor their obligation to GPL are obviously not playing their part in ensuring quality service delivery. So, I will continue to pay my GPL bill on time every time i recognize the value of your point mom you were right
many wishes for Christmas. A freshly painted home, a new vacation home, a new car, home furnishings, my dream wedding, new kitchen appliances, a new smart TV, a new phone for Zion, school fees too. Gosh, I still want this work from home office area. I just wish I could get some extra cash to clear my debts altogether. Do you feel the same? GBTI is granting 12 wishes for Christmas. Mobile Special and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Saul Guyana Inc. Mobile Special and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Saul Guyana Inc. Welcome back. Retired Chief of Staff of the Guyana Defense Force Rear Admiral Gary Best was today freed of a causing death by dangerous driving charge in the Magistrate's Court. Best walked out of the Magistrate's Court a free man today after Magistrate Rondell Weaver accepted the no-case submission put forward by the attorneys for Best. The Magistrate upheld the no-case submission um, and said that the prosecution failed to establish that Mr. Best was driving dangerously and consequently the case has been brought to an end. The magistrate ruled that the prosecution failed to prove that Bess was driving dangerously at the time of the accident and thereby caused the death of cyclist Jude Bentley. Bess was charged back in March after the February accident along the Rupert Craig Highway. While not admitting guilt, the former head of the military offered a public apology over the accident in a statement to the media. The Ghana police force just after the accident had stated that Bess was found to be above the legal limit for alcohol. However, that charge is a separate charge that is still before the courts. I'm happy that the matter has now come to an end and uh, what played out in court is exactly what happened and uh, uh, I just hope that um, both families can move on. And like I said at the time when the accident occurred, I said I did regret the fact that uh, Mr. Jude Bentley died. It was an accident. But of course, um, the facts laid out in court show that I was not driving dangerously in any way and I did not deliberately cause his death. And like I said, I hope that both families can now hear my family and his family, and I hope we can all move on. The incident had led to protests by some friends of the national cyclists who demanded justice over the accident. Jude Bentley was on an early morning practice ride when the accident took place. The Infectious Diseases Hospital at Lillian Dahl is now handling all of the critically ill coronavirus patients in Guyana. Previously, all critical coronavirus cases were housed at the Georgetown Hospital. However, with the completion of the COVID ICU at a new facility, a decision was made to move all the critical patients there. Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony said since it went into full operation, the Infectious Diseases Hospital has been operating smoothly. He said the strain has been removed from the Georgetown Hospital as other coronavirus cases are also being housed at the Ocean View facility. I think so far everything is going smoothly. Um, there are still additional works that we'll have to do as we go. Uh, but that would not impede with the management of uh, patients at, at the hospital. So right now, uh, most of the patients with COVID-19 would normally be at uh, Georgetown Hospital. We have transferred those patients over to Ocean View. So we have um, very severe patients. Uh, we have 14 persons who are in the ICU. And we have uh, milder patients who are there uh, because they need uh, care. Dr. Anthony revealed that plans are also being made for a coronavirus maternity unit to be established at the new hospital. The Georgetown Public Hospital currently manages those cases. In addition to, to those patients that we currently have, we are looking at opening up another section of the Ocean View facility so that we can move um, in the future uh, maternity cases. As it is right now, we don't have that capability right now at Ocean View, but we're working to put that in place. Wards will be opened up soon to cater for more coronavirus patients. The Infectious Diseases Hospital is a former hotel that was torn apart and transformed into the hospital under the last government just before it left office as the country started to see a rise in coronavirus cases. Its readiness to house patients was completed under the new government. The country currently has 43 coronavirus patients in institutional care. Four of those patients are in the coronavirus ICU. The country recorded 79 new cases of the virus over the past 24 hours. 
Despite the impact of the global coronavirus pandemic on the international economy, Guyana's economic outlook because of oil production continues to be strong. President Irfanali believes that businesses in the manufacturing sector must be bold and make investments as they prepare for growth in the local economy. Speaking at the awards ceremony last evening for the Guyana Manufacturing and Services Association, President Ali said the Guyanese economy is realigning and businesses must be prepared. The engagement with CARICO must be bold. It is time we break down the barriers to trade. It is time we stake our place and whilst we have the capacity and we'll invest on food security, private sector needs to push hard on all the barriers that prevent our goods and services from entering a free market, a open market, a unified market in CARICOM. The president said while there continues to be great focus on the oil and gas sector, other sectors will also see growth. He noted that there must be value added to all of the sectors, including the manufacturing one. If we are to benefit from the opportunities that will come, we have to change our mode of doing business. We have to come together. You have to form consortiums. The family approach to business will fast disappear with the scale of opportunities that will come. And the only way we can benefit from the scale of opportunities that will come is if we understand that we have to work together. We have to work together to improve our competitiveness. We have to work together to improve our competitive strength. And we have to work together to increase our market share, not only in Guyana, but first of all, in CARICOM and then beyond. Local manufacturers are being urged to break down the regional barriers for trade. The president said Guyanese manufacturers need to take their place in the regional market and take on the challenges that might have been preventing them and their businesses from expanding regionally and globally. During the GMSA Awards, a number of local companies were honored for their growth and contributions over the years. The private sector body also honored the American, British, Canadian and EU diplomats for their role in the March 2020 elections. Well, local telecommunications giant GTT has relaunched its mobile money app MMG, allowing customers who use the payment app easier access and greater ease to pay their bills and even shop. GTT CEO Justin Net today explained that the company is pleased with the improvements to the app. He said customers should be very happy. I want to encourage the people that use MMG, our customers at, at MMG, uh, lots of scammers out there just ignore WhatsApp messages. We will call you for your password or WhatsApp you for your password or ask you for your password. And what this new platform does is not only is it extremely uh, user-friendly, but it's extremely secure in that it, it asks you uh, for something you have, which is your phone, as well as something you know um, at multiple stages, which is which is your password, and uh, so so when you log in, you log in with your password, but it will also send you an SMS on the phone that you you have, and and if if you don't have the code from that SMS, you can't get in. So so really, we built this with. Trust in mind. Since the coronavirus pandemic came to Guyana back in March and more persons found themselves working from home, GDT has been looking at new ways to make many of its services easier. So MMG is, is a company that is, is a subsidiary separate from, from GTT. Uh, but as a group, we certainly set out to make life, make life easy. I fully expect that in, in, in the coming months, uh, with MMG, people can actually shop online. Now, many people shop online, they go on Amazon, but you have to use a US or, or, or some credit card, right? And pay in US or Canadian dollars. There's foreign currency exchange rates and the logistics of funding that card or, or repaying that card. And what MMG does is really makes it easy 
So you can shop online, you're paid in Guyana dollars, you use your your LMG uh, funds and, and wallet, and you, you go online and, and shop. That's really why we're here. And you can fully expect this to be an ongoing process. The GTT CEO said there are more improvements to come from the company in the future that will also make customers very happy. Across the region is coming up next. and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Sol Guyana Inc. Mobile Dalvac and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Sol Guyana Inc. of the global pandemic, COVID-19 across our nation, essential organizations like us have chosen to adopt innovative approaches to meet the emerging needs of our customers while protecting our employees. Here are some quick tips to make managing your GPL bill easier while we practice social distancing. To register for electronic billing, you can use the e-billing tab on your website. To access your bill balance, you can use four options, the website live chat at gpl.net, the online inquiry on our website under billing, SMS freedom by texting your GPL reference number to 624-0400 or 608-8400 or call our call center at 226-2600. A message from the Guyana Power and Light Incorporated. I have many wishes for Christmas. A freshly painted home, a new vacation home, a new car, home furnishings, my dream wedding, new kitchen appliances, a new smart TV, a new phone for Zion, school fees too. Gosh, I still want this work from home office area. I just wish I could get some extra cash to clear my debts altogether. Do you feel the same? GBTI is granting 12 wishes for Christmas. of men standing strong but never too proud to stoop and help someone we must send a clear signal to all do right walk in upright ways knowing that's what being a man is all about and ever aware that things will only get worse when good men do nothing stand strong be the one to live right but as a people we have weathered every storm and risen to every challenge because it is the people of Guyana that gives it its strength all the people regardless of race class or religion we, we are, are one people, people one strength and now is our time a time to rise together we rise Mobile Dalvac and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Sol Guyana Inc.
Also, Dalvac and all other mobile lubricants are distributed by Sol Guyana Inc. Across the region right now, Mexico has signed an agreement with Pfizer to acquire 34.4 million doses of its COVID-19 vaccine, the country's health ministry has announced. Mexico expects to receive 250,000 doses in the month of December and will prioritize vaccinating healthcare workers, the ministry said. The United Kingdom approved Pfizer's vaccine on Wednesday, jumping ahead of the rest of the world in the race to begin vaccination. In Mexico, Pfizer submitted the details about its vaccine to the country's health regulator last month and is still awaiting approval. The Mexican president said his authorities will be working day and night to grant the vaccine approval as fast as possible. In neighboring Brazil, the country's health regulator and visa said yesterday it was open to approving COVID-19 vaccines for emergency use and outlined the requirements for companies looking to do so. And visa said authorizations will be analyzed on a case-by-case -case basis and that to be considered the vaccine must be in late-stage trials in Brazil. It said no requests had been received so far. AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer and Sinovac currently have vaccines in Phase 3 trials in Brazil. The regulator said producers should still seek the usual registrations for their vaccines. On Tuesday, Brazil's health ministry unveiled a preliminary plan for national immunization, prioritizing indigenous people, healthcare workers, and those persons above the age of 75. And finally tonight, international news. Irish airline Ryanair has placed an order for 75 more Boeing 737 MAX, as the plane is set to return to the skies after two fatal crashes. Ryanair had already agreed to buy 135 jets. The extra planes take the list value of the order to 22 billion US dollars. The US Federal Aviation Administration recently certified the Boeing 737 MAX for a return to service after it had been grounded since March of last year. Ryanair said it would take delivery of the planes early next year. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency is yet to give the Boeing 737 MAX the go-ahead to return to service. And that's your news source evening bulletin for tonight. I'm Gordon Mosley, reporting.